here. Okay, uh, Amy, the face of Mindy TV 23, uh, you've taken full advantage of the beautiful weather and been out and about and even uh, stopped by a monument. I know all of us are familiar with, but not everybody maybe has been on the inside. Right, I think people overlook the, uh, the massive treasure that we have right downtown in our circle and they don't know too much information about it. So uh, I went and I discovered some for myself. She Check it out. Exploring. Looking for something fun to do? Why not visit the circle and explore the Soldiers and Sailors Monument? Recognized as one of the world's outstanding monuments, the structure has come to symbolize both the city of Indianapolis and the state of Indiana. Originally designed to honor the memory of Indiana's Civil War veterans, it now commemorates all of Indiana's military men and women in all wars prior to World War I. Standing 284 feet 6 inches high, the monument is only 15 feet shorter than the Statue of Liberty. Constructed of very high quality limestone from Owen County and having a foundation depth of 30 feet, the structure is extremely durable. In 1902, the cost to build the monument was just under $600,000. Today, building a structure like this would cost more than $500 million. There are numerous works of art built into the monument and on the surrounding grounds. When you visit, take time to observe the many groups of statues, including war, peace, the dying soldier, and the home front. Located at the corners of the monument are the statues representing infantry, cavalry, artillery, and navy. The east and west sides of the monument feature beautiful large fountains which cascade 5,000 gallons of water per minute. Did you know that you can actually go to the top of the monument? The observation deck is enclosed in glass 231 feet above the ground. There are two ways it can be reached, by elevator or by challenging yourself to conquer the 331 steps to the top. Once you make it to the top, the view of Indianapolis is breathtaking. Just below the monument is the Colonel Eli Lilly Civil War Museum. Don't forget to stop by and learn more about Indiana's contributions to the war. Admission is free, but donations are greatly appreciated. Victory stands atop the monument and completes the masterpiece. The design of the bronze sculpture is a combination of the classical Greek victory image and the American image of liberty. Her torch symbolizes the light of civilization and sword, justice. The eagle on the sculpture's brow represents freedom. Since 1902, the monument has stood as a tribute to the past and inspiration for the future. It is the only monument in America dedicated to ordinary soldiers and sailors. How much do you know about the Soldiers and Sailors Monument? There's so much to discover. There you go. There's it's a, a lot great of little lunchtime trip or daytime trip. And like I said, the museum's free. And yeah, in the summer, it's a great place to escape the heat by going. Oh, no, the that's museum. right. It is. But I didn't realize it was a, the, the height is so close to the Statue of Liberty. And what did you say to right. duplicate this? Today, it would cost $500 million. million. I guess it's pretty high quality limestone. That I guess it must be. So, uh, very high yeah. quality. That's right. Well, that's yeah. how we roll here in Indianapolis. So. Definitely. <laughs> but uh, Face, what do you have coming up? Um, of course, Circle City Classic is this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'll be hanging out at the parade, doing a little emceeing for the crowd on the street. Fabulous. So that'll be fun. All right. Yeah. We'll look for you. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank Did you say you. anything else? Um, zone game on Friday. I knew it. See, I knew yep. there was one more thing. Football. Tracy. I was just like, <laughs> are you sure that's it? <laughs> for real? Um, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Trace. <laughs> All right.